The Beluga XL is a large-bodied aircraft specially modified for transporting aircraft components and heavy cargo loads. It is manufactured by the European aircraft manufacturer Airbus. In 2013, the existing fleet of five Beluga aircraft couldn't keep up with Airbus's growing production demands. Airbus initiated the modification of one of their aircraft to address this issue. Before making this decision, they evaluated various options, including the Antonov An-124 and An-225, Boeing C-17 or Dreamlifter, and A-400M. First launched in November 2014, the development and production of the Airbus Beluga XL cost up to 1 billion euros. The Beluga XL is constructed at various Airbus offices across Europe and then reassembled at Airbus's main headquarters in Toulouse, France. The name Beluga is derived from a type of whale known for its prominent head bump that inhabits the Arctic Ocean. The Beluga XL, like its namesake, also features a bump at the front of the aircraft. The design of the Beluga XL is based on the Airbus A 33200 freighter with a lower cockpit, reinforced tail structure and a newer front cargo area. The Airbus Beluga XL has a length of up to 63.1 meters, a wingspan of 8.8 .8 meters and a height of 18.9 meters. This giant aircraft has an empty weight of 125 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of up to 227 tons. The Beluga XL can carry a payload of up to 51 tons with a range of up to 4,074 kilometers. Additionally, the cargo hold inside the aircraft has a diameter of 8.8 .8 meters and a length of up to 45.9 meters, 1.7 meters wider and 6.5 meters longer than its predecessor, the Beluga Steve. Furthermore, the cargo space in the Beluga XL offers a larger volume, up to 30% more than the Beluga Steve. The Beluga XL aircraft features a fully openable front cargo door for easy loading and unloading. The expanded cargo space was installed in three months with 8,000 new components on the assembly line. The aircraft's avionic systems have also been upgraded, particularly the fly-by-wire system adapted to the ever-changing center of gravity. As previously mentioned, various components of the Beluga XL are produced in multiple Airbus subsidiary offices across Europe. The standard A33200F aircraft, which serves as the basis for the Beluga XL, includes components such as the front, middle and rear fuselage, left and right wings, tail, engines, landing gear and cockpit. The front, middle and rear sections consist of frames, panels, doors, windows, electrical systems, hydraulics and pneumatics. Meanwhile, the left and right wings include structures, flaps, slats, spoilers, ailerons and fuel systems. Moving to the aircraft's tail section, it comprises the vertical and horizontal stabilizers, elevators and rudder. In the engine department, the Airbus Beluga XL is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 700 units, each providing a thrust of 316 kilonewtons or 71,000 pounds of force. Additionally, the Beluga XL is equipped with landing gear that includes wheels, tires, brakes and a suspension system. The cockpit section of the aircraft comprises instruments, controls and communication systems. Initially, components of the A33200F aircraft were produced in several Airbus factories in Europe, with the wing section manufactured in Broughton, England and the fuselage in Hamburg, Germany. These components were then transported to Toulouse using either the Beluga ST aircraft or ground transportation. Typically, 
Components transported by ground include doors and windows, while larger A33200F components like the fuselage are transported using specialized row-row ships. Row-row ships can carry A33200F aircraft components using wheeled platforms that can move in and out of the ship. Upon arrival in Toulouse, the A33200F aircraft was reassembled according to Airbus standards. The assembly process begins with the joining of the front, middle and rear fuselage sections using a specialized tool called a jig. A jig is a metal structure that can hold and move aircraft components with high precision. This tool connects the electrical, hydraulic and pneumatic systems between the aircraft sections. Once these three sections are joined, the next step is to attach the left and right wings to the fuselage. This attachment is done using a wing jig. The wing jig can lift and position the wings correctly next to the fuselage and also connect the fuel system between the wings and the fuselage. After the left and right wing assembly is complete, the next step is to attach the tail to the fuselage using another jig called the tail jig. The tail jig can lift and position the tail accurately and precisely at the rear of the aircraft while connecting the flight control systems between the tail and the fuselage. Following this, the workers start installing the engines on the wings using a specialized tool called a pylon. The pylon is a metal structure that can support and hang the engines on the wings. It can also connect the fuel, electrical and pneumatic systems between the engines and the wing. Once the engine installation on the wing is successful, the next step is to install the landing gear for the aircraft's fuselage using a specialized tool that can lift and lower the fuselage called a jack. The jack can also connect the brake, suspension and control systems between the landing gear and the fuselage. The final stage in the assembly of the A33200F is to install the cockpit on the front of the fuselage using a mechanical tool that can lift and move the cockpit, called a crane. When all the aircraft components of the A33200F are assembled, the standard aircraft is ready to be modified into the Beluga XL aircraft. The standard A33200F aircraft that has been assembled is then modified by cutting the upper part of the fuselage and replacing it with a larger cargo structure. The main cargo door has 24 locking latches and is produced by Stelia Aerospace located in Mayolt, France. After cleaning with the washer, the aircraft's surface is dried using a high-pressure drying unit. Once the aircraft's surface is thoroughly dry, the crew proceeds to apply a white primer coat using a sprayer. This process aims to protect against corrosion and prepare for the final coat of paint. After spraying the aircraft's surface with the sprayer, the next step is to apply the final blue coat of paint using a painter. The painter can spray the blue paint on the aircraft's surface to provide identity and aesthetics and also apply the dolphin motif on the aircraft's face. After all assembly and modification processes are complete, the Beluga XL aircraft undergoes a series of tests before being handed over to Airbus Transport. There are two tests that the Beluga XL aircraft must pass before officially entering service ground tests and flight tests. In the ground tests, the aircraft is tested using a simulator, which can simulate flight conditions for an aircraft on the ground. The simulator can test the aircraft systems, including the engines, controls and avionics, by providing appropriate signals. It can also test the aircraft's behavior, such as stability, maneuverability and vibrations, by applying the appropriate forces. After the ground tests, the Beluga XL aircraft proceeds to flight tests, which are expected to last approximately 600 hours. The flight tests for the Beluga XL are conducted by professional pilots who directly control the aircraft. 
These pilots will test the aircraft's systems, including engines, controls, and avionics, by giving appropriate commands. The test pilots can also assess the aircraft's behavior, such as stability, maneuverability, and vibrations, by performing appropriate maneuvers. Once the testing is completed, the Beluga XL is declared ready and officially handed over to Airbus Transport. The Beluga XL aircraft made its maiden flight on July 19, 2018, from Blagnac, Toulouse, France. After successfully completing more than 200 test flights, totaling over 700 hours of flight time, the Beluga XL received its type certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency on November 13, 2019. The Beluga XL officially entered service on January 9, 2020 and has flown to 11 destinations in Europe. It is gradually replacing the Beluga ST fleet, which consists of five aircraft. The Beluga XL is operated by two pilots using the modern A330 cockpit. Additionally, the Beluga XL aircraft is equipped with a cargo loading system to ensure easy and efficient cargo handling. This system is operated by trained crews from the Airbus Transport International subsidiary. Thanks to this new innovation, the turnaround time for the Beluga XL, which used to be around one hour, has been reduced to nearly half compared to the Beluga ST. In late 2021, a new system called RNPAR, Required Navigation Performance Authorization Required, was added to the aircraft. The RNPAR system enhances access to locations with challenging environments. The aircraft also began integrating two new systems, ROPS, Runway Overrun Prevention System, and APFDTCAS, Autopilot Flight Director Traffic Collision Avoidance System. ROPS predicts operational landing distances and provides warnings to the crew about the risk of exceeding the runway during automatic or manual braking operations. Meanwhile, APFDTCAS is used for automatic avoidance maneuvers in risky situations, such as collision avoidance with other aircraft. It is worth noting that the previous generation of Beluga aircraft, the Beluga ST, is not planned to be retired after the Beluga XL is introduced. At least, the Beluga ST will remain in operation for the next 5 to 10, 20 years due to the increased production rate of narrow-body aircraft, which requires the ability to transport more components. It is also likely to be offered for sale or used to serve external customers. As of 2017, the Beluga ST aircraft had accumulated over 8,000 flight hours, double the amount from 2014. In a single day, this fleet can fly up to five times a day and operate six days a week. Compared to the time it takes to transport components for the A320, the Beluga ST requires three times more time for A330 components and five times more time for A350 components. In contrast, the Beluga XL can transport two A350 wings at once, while the Beluga ST can only carry one wing at a time.